we should get the band back together. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, let's not. Or build a band yeah. in general. Which one played the cymbals again? Yeah, in the triangle. Yeah. The cowbell. Or cowbell. Yeah. How's it going, everybody? Um, I got Jose back, and um, we're going to talk about some random shit. What's up? Random shit. Yep, because I have no idea what we're going to talk about. Usually Batman or... Chicken foot. Chicken foot. I like talking about chicken foot. Um, Pigeon man. I don't know, the topic today has seemed to be pets and uh, lizards in oh particular. Oh, God. Lizards in particular. Um, yeah, that just lizards, that's it. Nothing else. Nothing else. Bearded dragon, specifically. Not yes. specifically, not like the ocean. Yeah, the bearded dragon specifically. Yes. Oh, man. Well, I want. One. I just got two bearded dragons recently. Pretty dope. I love them to death. And they're just babies. I have to separate them now because, you know, they're, they're solitary creatures. They don't like, you know, groups or even being with one other. Whether the, regardless of they're male or female, the male will repeatedly rape the female until she dies. It's brutal. That's amazing. Yeah. Do you got two or males? The male will die of frustration. It's you know one of the. They're others. just like people. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty much it. Resembling, we're all bearded dragons, but we're not stuck in a tank. At least we weren't until until yeah. COVID came. The animal kingdom is pretty depressing, man. It is. But they love it. <laughs> yeah, they, I think they do. Well, they don't know any better. You watch some of these crazy ass nature videos. It's insane. I know. Dude, you're getting bitten by the balls. You don't see that in real life. <laughs> no. At least not on a daily basis. I, mean, I, can, I can find it. I'm I don't sure. want to see it. <laughs> but it's not as common. No. I mean, you could definitely see videos of like fucking drug cartels chopping people's heads off. Oh, there's plenty of those. There's plenty of those, but not dude getting his nuts chomped on by somebody else. Well, honey badger. Now, now unless they're getting paid to do it. Well, yeah, everyone has a price, right? Mm -hmm. How much would you whack charge for that kind of service? Right. Yeah, I had a very um. You hear about the first um, trans woman to win um. A beauty pageant. No. I forgot what state it was, but there was the first trans woman to win a beauty pageant. Yeah, I did not hear about it. Um, it's funny because, you know, obviously some people had a problem with it. And then someone asked the question, it was like, alright, if you were stuck on an island with um, the Miss Beauty pageant and Rosie O'Donnell, who are you banging? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Like Rosie's dying alone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm throwing Rosie. I'm using Rosie as a raft. <laughs> and, <laughs> I'm using her to flood the sea. I'm not consider this second base. Yeah. Of course yeah. you would. Everywhere it's like second base. We don't know how to answer that question. <laughs> who, who made that up? Uh, I can't remember. I just heard someone be like, hey, if, you, "If you were stuck on an island with Miss this pageant woman and Rosie O'Donnell." Who are you banging? Why do they even have to disclose that? Like, well, that they're trans. No, like, it doesn't matter if they're trans. Like, it shouldn't matter to the fucking fans or anyone. Who gives a shit? Because everything has. They to be win. Cool. They win, man. And then yeah. at the end, if it's revealed, there's outrage. Whatever. Well, yeah. But you know, people are gonna bet are gonna bet against if they disclose that in the beginning. Yeah. So luckily, they didn't do that. I'm sure they did. But shit, it shouldn't even matter. If you won, you won. It shouldn't. But then you know. Some people argue that, you know, they might have revealed it from the beginning, so they only want it because... Because of that? That's yeah. stupid. Because there's plenty of... Kind of like, you know, kind of like when Caitlyn won for being Woman of the Year. Oh, yeah. She wasn't even a woman for a year. That was a little questionable, though. Well, that was... Those kind of prizes are kind of... Are those the prizes we really need to get fed over, I mean, bent over shape with? Caitlyn Jenner's won enough awards, I think. I mean... Let's be honest here, people. Let's really be honest with ourselves. They're popularity contest. Alright? That's all they really are. I mean, it's brave that it inspired a movement, but at the same time... It is. That's a very prestigious award. It's like... What, the pageantry? Mean? Or yeah. the woman of the year? Woman of the year. Yeah. Well, it was. And that's just like... All the... 
you know, military women that could have won. <laughs> military know. women, scientists. Scientists. Um, um, doctors. The list goes on, man. Yeah, and then, um, Caitlin. So, so, yeah, it's kind of a slap in the face. It doesn't look good for the cause. It doesn't. Or a cause that, you know, wants equality amongst everyone. It's hard. It's a hard line to... It's yeah. a thin line. I mean, it really is because you you, you gotta, gotta represent at the end of the day. Mm-hmm. Ugh, I don't even know how we came up to this stuff. Bearded lizards. Bearded lizards. Bearded lizards. Caitlyn it's Jenner looks like a bearded lizard. That's how we came up to this. <laughs> Before or after? So what else did you want to talk about? Because <laughs> I'm not sure how else to transition out of this. Me neither. I don't know how th- these women did it, but I don't know how to transition out of this. God damn it. <laughs> I'm not going to say I'm proud of that. Uh, but I did see an opening, and I went for it. No, was it worth it? Probably not. I really They're, love my bearded dragons, man. <laughs> they look really cool. Especially the the little guy that you know that just wants to eat, but the other one just like, Wait your turn! Yeah, see? That's why they separate them. Because one of them was just getting... A little too dominant. They started off around the same size, babies, and then the other one just, I noticed, was eating more, so it's getting ripped. It's split ski time, unfortunately. Oh, yeah. Gotta separate him before he, um. Honestly, I should have separated them from the beginning. It's alright. But, yeah. You know, once. It once, looks cute, though. Like, they love each other. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, once, um, once you get them separated, the other one starts. I'm gonna tell you, that other one's probably gonna get super huge. Get super ripped, and then once he meets up with his brother again, he's gonna just start kicking the shit out of him for all the Jeez. pain and turmoil that he put him through. Oh. It's gonna happen. Oh, no, that no. little lizard's thinking about sweet, bitter revenge. <laughs> no, don't do that. He's getting ripped. Like, look, he's gonna have like a little mirror, check himself out, and just getting jacked. Oh, think about all the. Up. He's ready. <laughs> and then the other lizard's even bigger. <laughs> like, holy shit. He's gonna come out with a spray tan out of his little rock cage. Yeah, Jeffrey, he's he's a big guy. A big guy. Actually, I found out Jeffrey's female. Jeffrey's female? Yeah. So she's the dominate? Still prefers the name Jeffrey. Mm-hmm. But is female. And little baby. Mm-hmm. A.K.A. Camilo. Camilo. I like That's, that name. Yeah, my, my wife made that name up. She likes that name. Sorry. Camilo. I like it. It too. sounds like chameleon. Yeah, that's why I was like, it's, like, it's not a chameleon, it's a bearded dragon. Maybe Beardo? Well, like, <laughs> Beardo? Beardo would have been great. So, like, you know, the also game kinda, was already there. So. Kind of sounds like Weirdo. Isn't Beardo that pink fucking Yoshi from. Oh, that's Birdo. Oh, Birdo. <laughs> oh, embarrassing. Speaking of trans people. Oh, God. How do I transition now, as he says? <laughs> Goes right back to it. Right. Well, no, Beard. No, they didn't call Birdo, like trans. I think they called. Oh, did they? Okay, I I, I didn't know anything about that actually. I, no, I mean fans before. I don't know. They either called Birdo as like a trans or like a fucking crossdresser. That's what they labeled it as. The fans did. The fans did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this okay. is probably pre all of the whole Birdo. Yeah. Yeah, Birdo. <laughs> this is pre before it. The no, LBGT. Community oh, okay. shit. So oh, okay. Birdo's a cross dresser. They always made it seem like it was a I, female that was in love with Yoshi or something. I thought. I think we do. Well, Birdo didn't seem like he had a gender in the first game, but then they gave him a bow on the top of his head. Exactly, the bow is what. And then everyone's like, oh, so it, it's a girl. Then like, oh, it's a boy. It's like, uh, All I know is Japanese are notoriously. Uh, Homophobic at times. Yeah. So, I'm not sure they would include that in their game. But the fan interpretation is all that matters, right? I'm so, sure it is. In my opinion. Fuck what Nintendo says. Jeez. Birdo's trans- transsexual male, I'm down with it. That bow doesn't change anything. The bow changes everything. The bow changes You gotta it. believe that shit. I believe. I believe! I hear that the best wrestler ever. <laughs> Only third place next to his brother. Freaking Bray Wyatt. You believe that's that? That's his sh- brother? Yeah, that's his brother. Oh, shit. You believe that Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt are brothers? That's some crazy shit. 
You can't really tell because Bray's always got a beard, but when he's clean shaved, you can see it more. I couldn't tell at all. I'm gonna lie. Yeah, now you know. Bray Wyatt's the Bo Leave brother. Very nice. Very you nice. Believe that shit. Stop this. He's he's crazy. Moving on. And yeah, let's move on. I don't know where else to go with it. <laughs> Did you uh? You haven't finished Resident Evil yet, right? Honestly, no. Okay. I actually and need to start over because... You finished Miles, though. Yes, I did finish Miles. Okay. That game is dope. That's all you gotta say? Yes. That fight where it kept freezing, did that ever happen again? Or did you, like... Um, uh, well, I don't know if it would've... Try. I don't know if it would've happened again, but I didn't die again. You got on the first try? Yes, that time. Okay, sick. So, I don't know if it would've happened again, but I did end up beating it. Okay. But yeah, it is a very dope, dopey, dopey, dopey... Ah! I got a fucking bug button that can't stop itching it. But yeah. The game is dope. Um, I didn't 100% complete it. I've been needing to. But mm-hmm. around the time I got done with it, it was also around the same time I got on my Metroid high. Oh, okay. <laughs> Excuse nice. me. You gotta give that Demon Souls a try. I should. I mean, it's already here. I suppose. And it's the only way I can keep it safe from the elements. From the elders. From the elders. Because at this point, it still doesn't have a case. It's oh, naked. shit. It's naked. It's naked. It's naked out in the world. That's ridiculous. Freaking bearded lizards can come out, come over and just start licking it. <laughs> no protection. No KY. I'm not, no KY. I'm not sure if bearded lizards are known for licking things, but I feel like they would. They are. Okay. Where is that disc? Um, it's, um, it's on top of one of my DVDs. Howl's Moving Castle. That movie's good. good. It's a really good movie. <laughs> it's got Christian Bale have doing... Spirited Away? Huh? Spirited Away? I have not. Oh, that's ridiculous. Because that's a... I think it was made from, like, the same studio same, or something. Yeah, Studio Ghibli? Or... Yes. Yeah. Dude, that fucking shit's so good. Spirit Away is my favorite of all time. I want to rent that, but it's like fucking thirteen ninety nine around. I think it's on um, HBO. What really? I think so. One of the one of the streaming places has a bunch of HBO on Hulu or just normal HBO. HBO Max. Oh okay. Yeah, if I'm not if I'm not mistaken, that's the richy rich guy stuff. Mm. HBO Max twenty five dollars a month. I only got it for Justice League, but then I also kept it because it had oh, a bunch Justice of League? yeah. The Snyder? Yeah. Okay. Oh. That's what, that four hour clip. Oh, yeah. That's on there. Okay. I, that's what And that's an exclusive. Okay. And then. Okay, that's worth it then. The session was amazing. And then that's also how you were able to watch them. We never probably reviewed that. Huh? We never reviewed. We talked about it a little, but not like properly reviewed. Oh, okay. Well, we'd have to watch it again. Mm hmm. Definitely would have to watch it again. But that shit was awesome. Mm hmm. That's a four hour grind, which is oh, yeah. fine with me. Just that movie paces very well. Yeah, it does. Cause it <laughs> I mean it kind of feels slow at first from what I remember, but you know, um, once it picks up Does it? Or Fuck I can't remember shit. I'm an old man. I'm an old man in my old age. Yeah, I don't know. But I just remember it, it moved it moved a lot faster than movies that are like two hours long. I mean, I still need to watch that new Wonder Woman movie, too. Like, Wonder Woman 1984. I wonder if that's any good. It's got, like, oh, Kristen okay. Wiig as, like, a... That one was, uh... The Cat Lady. Strange, strange movie. I don't know. Just, have you it had a weird vibe to it. But I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that a lot. I hear... <laughs> Excuse me, I hear it's a long movie. I love the first one. And it's weird, because my parents, they're like... They hated the first one, and they loved the second one. And I just wanted to uppercut them. Um, I, I love you guys, though. Yeah, I, lo- I still not met your mama, but I met your pops. He's yeah. cool. I mean, But I don't think I can ever trust him in his movie decisions. I, you know, yeah, I know. It's like... This really puts a strain on our relationship. <laughs> crackhead, Movie-wise. Crackhead, Ebert, and Roper. Yeah. <laughs> Just the worst B films ever are like the best films, and then just <laughs> yeah, just every film that makes us cringe. Reverse. And I was like, that was good. He's the B film king. 
telling you. B film king. Whenever we're hanging out, he he would just find that terrible, terrible movie, and we'd just all sit through it. Should watch um, Grown Ups two with him. Oh God. Jack and Jill. <laughs> he likes that movie. Yeah. Does he? <laughs> no, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> I was like, oh God. Nobody likes Grown Ups too. Everyone loves it. Nobody. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal loves it. Oh, jeez. That's what I'm sure he does. But then again, Shaquille O'Neal likes everything. Oh, God, not Shaquille O'Neal. He loves everything. Peanut butter is a dairy product. (laughs) Shaquille O'Neal is going to be in Space Uh, Jam 3. (laughs) Sorry, LeBron James. He's taking your throne. Shaquille O'Neal is honestly hilarious. I'm not going to lie. He is. He's he's got comedic time like nobody other. When when he's on shows, he's funny. I've I've learned. His commercials at times are kind of corny. Yeah. But... He's the one of the most memeable fucking basketball <laughs> players. But on certain shows, he's hilarious. Oh, man. Like Grown Ups. No. He's very funny. No, we don't talk about that. <laughs> I love it. Uh, that whole group of people. Just... <laughs> that whole... Kevin James. Uh, I mean, I think Kevin James is really funny, but I think Queens, it's... And that's it. I think... I think he's just... I think he's just there because it's like Chris Farley. I think he needs good writing. His delivery is awesome, though. He's a great actor. He is. I mean, King of Queens is still a really good show. His delivery is amazing, but you can't think of the material. And then I like, um... I also liked him in um that Will Smith movie, Hitch. You ever see that movie? Where it's like, um, Will Smith is like a guy that helps other guys get women. Oh, yeah. But he's like a shallow character. Yeah, I remember that. But then he meets, um... That one Latina chick who's fine as hell. I can't remember her name. But she was big at that time. Then he looks like a big old doofus! I don't even remember. I don't know. I just remember liking that movie. And Kevin James is really funny in it. Because oh, okay. he was just a big old lovable dork! There's a fur ball. Yeah, well, Will Smith, man. He he made the movie, I'm sure. He did. That's what you're going to say. He did. I mean, I don't know. I just could never get into Kevin James' movies. Like, that mall cop shit? Holy fuck. Mall cop. It's like watching a dark film, like a black and white, just yeah. really depressing. Watching a human centipede in black and yeah. white, basically, is the vibe I get when I watch Ex- Paul Blart mall cop. Except he's on a... What the heck, he's on a Segway or some shit. Yeah, it's just, like, really depressing. His life looks so sad. Like, fuck. Yeah. It's, like, the most depressing I, shit. I see him in King of Queens, and he's this happy man with a beautiful wife, and then all of a sudden he's this really fucking depressing fat mall cop. Yeah. And it's like, oh, Who loves God, to he's eat? really lost himself. Who loves to eat pie. Yeah, Doug Hefferman. Yeah, what happened to you, Doug? Come on. He's really funny. He did that one episode with Adam Sandler, and it all went down the hill. Oh, shit, Yeah. <laughs> And even in there, you know... The egging one? Yeah, even in that, he was <laughs> fucking crazy. Yeah, I love King of Queens, man. <laughs> he's funny in there. And oh, hey, I'm saying, he's actually, like, a no, really decent he's, human being. He's a great actor, too, man. Like, he is. His serious roles are awesome. Uncut oh. Gems, that was a really big surprise. Yeah, for real. Rain Over Me is probably still one of my favorite performances from him. Adam yeah, Sandler's definitely very talented. But his movies are getting corny. I love. To be honest. I love corny. What was that one movie we saw? Like Jennifer Aniston movie. No, that Jen. No, that one uh, David Spade movie with him, where he was like <laughs> running away from somebody. Stephanie was over at that time. Fuck! What was that movie? I was just randomly on. Well, I, I know this. But I've seen all those corny ass. It's movies. like I spy or some shit. You sure Jennifer Aniston wasn't in that? Jennifer Aniston was not in it. Let me see. I'm fairly certain Jennifer Aniston was Adam. In it. Sanger. Sangler. Stank. It was Grown Ups. <laughs> yeah, it was Grown Ups. It's totally Grown Ups. Um, the prequel. It's just showing all of his big hits. Young adults. That's not it. I haven't even seen that one. No... Pixels. It's not gonna. It's not gonna be on here, is it? No. The the weekend of. That's not it. Weekend at Bernie's. Oh yeah, I'm not seeing this freaking movie. Yeah, it's a shit. It's a real. That's how you know it's good. I can't even find it. 
Probably David Spade. Well, you said it was David Spade movie. Yeah, David Spade's in it. He's like a, he's like a weak ass like accountant dude that. Because remember, David Spade's oh, character. Oh, the do over. The do over. That's what it is. Because David Spade's a pathetic yeah. human being who has like another dude slamming his wife in the same house as him. Okay, the do over. Yeah, I saw that. That movie's was great. Movies. Horrible. I love that movie. <laughs> David Spade. I gotta tell you, the movie got a nine percent on Rotten Tomatoes. That's really out good. of That's ten. Pretty good, actually, it's pretty good by today's standards. There hasn't been a movie like above fifty in forever. That's true. I wonder how that new Fast and the Furious movie did. I heard it's all about fucking family and shit. It's all the movies. <laughs> it's, always about family. it's almost worse than Italian movies. Dom, how are you here in space? You don't need logic when you got family. <laughs> you got family. <laughs> and, co- and Corona. <laughs> Not the disease, I mean the beer. <laughs> I need to specify what I mean now. <laughs> uh, yeah. All the memes of... <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> you don't need logic when you have family. It's F9, right? Yeah. Yeah, F9. They're really getting creative on them titles. Oh, no. What? It just looks bad. No, what 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 are we looking at? Well, it's the same cast at least. But can they just stop this? Put an end to this. They're not going to stop. How They're much, still making a ton of money. How much money did they make? All the money. Two hundred million budget, so they definitely put in the work. They made all of that money despite the fact John Cena tried to you know sabotage the whole thing. John Cena tried to sabotage it. Well, he didn't try to. But they just try to say that, like, Taiwan was its own country or some shit. <laughs> That's that thing again? <laughs> yeah. You try to sabotage the whole thing. Why is that an issue, man? No, oh, it's, not, it's not with us. It is with... They're so sensitive. Oh, he tweeted about me. Yeah. You said Taiwan was its own country. Who's the one that gets offended and replies to that and says, apologize? Or is it all... <laughs> <laughs> or is it several of them? <laughs> it's like... It seems like a lot, because a lot of people could tweet, but... Do yeah, it's like, <laughs> do it. I don't get it. I don't know. That's all Hollywood's fault. That's what they get for submitting to one group of people, and now they have to submit to all of them. Oh, okay. They're all weak. Worthless and weak. They're all worthless and weak. It's a shame. It's a damn shame. It is a damn shame. We only recruit the strongest, healthiest specimen. <laughs> don't say specimen. Specimen. Test subject. We acquire a specimen and determine by the Zygo. who's ready to be a super soldier. You. Able for fine, which is confirmed. Kills we will back. reform him. Okay. As the ultimate killing machine. That will apologize every five minutes because you will offend everybody in five minutes. There you go. There you good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're can... saved. Yeah, it was a great movie. I haven't seen it yet, but that's I'm sure I'll I haven't it. even seen the eighth one or the Rock and um Jason State. If it gets me to call my mom then I consider it a success as far as Fast and the Furious standards go. Boom. It's all about family. Remember? It's all about family. You don't need Bachi. Well you got family. <laughs> you got family. Is that Ryan Vin Diesel? They haven't raced in like fucking twenty three years. No, they haven't done shit. They like scuba dive with their cars. And, <laughs> yeah, they scuba dive and like hit the hot ramp and jump through buildings with cars. It's actually impressive. It is kind of cool. Who does all these stunts? I, I, I saw a picture with their stunt guys next to it once. It's <laughs> it's weird because go back to the first movie. Yeah. It's like all right. First of all, can you imagine that this movie is getting <laughs> at least nine other movies after this? Let alone. Motherfuckers are gonna be in space. Well, the first two movies were awesome. First two movies, and then they went to Tokyo, and then I hated it. <laughs> I hate Tokyo Drift. <laughs> I remember you saying that. Oh, I hate it. I'm not gonna lie, I loved the first time I watched it, and then the second time I was like, okay, this is pretty bad. It's so dumb. <laughs> but the first time I watched it, it was, it was legit. I don't know, maybe because I live in Japan. Maybe it's because Little Bow Wow was in it. Oh. Probably just because I live in Japan, actually. Yeah, it's probably. They corrupted you. Yeah, but I will say the cars look cool. The but, uh, the white guy was weird. Whatever his name was, Japanese antagonist was. He wasn't so bad. Yeah, he was just he was just generic. Was not super. 
And then he like called his girlfriend with some kind of racial sh- slur or something. Paul shit. Walker wasn't in it, so it didn't do that well. Paul Walker wasn't in it. Vin well, Diesel wasn't in it till like the very last scene. Was Paul Walker in it for a little bit or not? No. I can't remember. Not that one. Okay. That's the one he skipped out on. Alright. And then Diesel wasn't in it till the end. And then they had that fourth movie where they try to go back to the old formula but try to make a more action packed. Yeah, they made, they started making them really action packed. And then the fifth one came and then everyone's like, oh shit, this is what we want. And then they just did that for the last. Is that really what people wanted? A Michael Bay film? Pretty much. That's depressing because nobody wanted Transformers. Everyone wanted what Fast and Furious was originally with Transformers. Yeah, but then they were yeah. like, this is dumb. I want to see this. But I want to see story. I want to see racing. Yeah, I want to see Transformers <laughs> I see, racing across I want to see city. family. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see Transformers make families and race with Vin Diesel. This is dumb. <laughs> yeah. I think, I think, James, I think James Wan even made one of those. He was like in charge of like, fuck, what horror movie did he do? James Wan? Yeah. He did a ver- he did the Conjuring movie. Really? Yeah, the first one at least. Oh, my mom and then, loved those movies. I'm not sure if he did the second one, but he definitely did the first one. I heard the third wasn't bad either. So but, did I. Was yeah, it like the devil made that, me though. do it? My dad said that though. Okay, Mr. So, Mr. <laughs> so look loving Grown Ups 2 over here. I love my dad a deaf man, but his movie choices. Let me uh, Look, man. We got to love family. Let's see how my dad's comparison compares. Oh, are you going to you going to take a look at the ratings of the new Conjury? What's it called? Like the devil made me I do it. I've seen it yet. Yeah, the devil made me do it. It's not the, Actually, yeah, 56%. That's, that's not terrible. That's, especially for a horror movie. That's not bad. And then 91% like the movie as far as Google users. I don't know where they get that from. Oh, right here. Yeah. As soon as you look it up, you get to like it or dislike. So yeah. Nobody, Nobody really does that shit, though. Yeah, how do you... Only weird people. Yeah, how do you know... We just sit down and look through all these movies and start liking and disliking. <laughs> I'm gonna... I'm going to go through the comments, form an opinion off of everyone else's opinion, and then I'm going to put a review like I've seen it, like I have my own opinion. And you know those people exist. It, that's the fucking sad part. It is. Because you say it like it's outlandish or unusual, but it, Oh, it's not. It exists. That's the reason. Demi Lovato knows that. Yeah, Demi Lovato. <laughs> yeah. Well, the sipping room. That whole fucking Froyo thing. Because you know a bunch of her fans after she went out with her whole story, like, oh, they... They're so unprofessional and they don't care about people with eating disorders. And then a bunch of her fans went on there. Um, what about fat people with eating disorders and want sugar free options? And then diabetic. Or just people that don't want to have something with like sugar. My in fat it. ass. I would be very grateful for a sugar free frozen yogurt. Are you fucking kidding me? If I discovered that. That is discriminatory towards Demi Lovato. If I discovered a sugar free frozen you? yogurt, Vinny. Did you ever think about how that makes Demi Lovato feel? <laughs> <laughs> you ever think about her fucking stanky ass? I'm excluding her. I, I get it. She, I should have considered her more. Did you know that she's um, non-binary now? <laughs> you can hear about it in a new podcast. Oh, oh I'll tune into that. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? It sounds good. Yeah. It doesn't sound like she's attention drawing at all. No. Not at all. No. <laughs> doesn't seem like cheap... Good publicity, you know, promote her new podcast after she got in hot water for attacking a small company. Dark water. That's Dark it. Oh, water. Yeah. Oh, you know, she's... She's happy. <laughs> With whatever the she does anymore. <laughs> whatever. Does she even make music? I don't know. Does music. anyone make anything anymore? It I feel like, like everyone... Like the whole world just went on pause, right? Yeah, it doesn't seem like anyone makes anything anymore. I Except, like, movies. movies and TV series. Have you heard of an announcement recently about anything? I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll hear from an occasional music artist these days here and there, but it's like... Everyone's too busy being like, no one cares about my <laughs> opinion. And I'm like, yeah. Now do right. the thing that way I expect you to do. Not to sound <laughs> like that guy, but if you, you're a musician, I don't fucking give a shit what your politics are. Yeah. You're a musician. If you want to talk about politics, be a politician. I won't stop you. Then I'll listen to your politics. Because then maybe by then you'll actually know what the fuck you're talking about. It doesn't make sense, man. I don't but get it. There are... Uh... Fuck, there's a term for it. I forgot it. Oh, just, uh... Honkies. Yeah, honkies. Yeah. What the fuck, man? <laughs> 
I like the word. I just like to say honky. No, they're just the political it's, fakes, I guess. They just yeah, they do, snowflakes. They do it for the attention. Yeah, they do they? Their politics or whatever they see on Facebook, or whoever their what CNN um, news report. Yes, CNN, Fox News, MSNBC. They're just fucking parrots. I can't be convinced of anything other than what they believe. It's true. And they're all preconceived notions. Nothing's really sounded, in fact. Who needs it? Who fucking needs it? Nobody. Daniel Bono doesn't need it. No. Why do we need it? She needs full fat options. She needs... No, she... Yeah, she needs full fat options, and she needs the labels to say... What eating this, disorder is she referring to here? Um... Like, I think she, she suffers, like, bulimia or some shit. Or something like that. Bulimia? Oh, not bulimia. Um, anorexia. Oh, okay. Maybe. So, not ha- having sugar-free is offending that. Offending people who have yeah. bulimia it's some, or It's some crazy psychological thing where it's like, you know, she sees diabetic... Or things with no sugar in, in in her mind, it's because they do have sugar options, right? Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's just. It's just when she just so happened to be going up to the front counter with the good shit, she just kept seeing sugar free shit. But that's inclusive. I mean, it has both options. Yeah. I don't. Isn't that in- inclusivity everything? Yeah. I don't. Yeah, know. I thought the, I thought I thought we were supposed to include everybody. Yeah. Except people- Demi. I feel like some people use this movement to just be fucking assholes. Or to get attention. Or to get attention. I don't, know. don't really know anything about it. Or don't realize that sometimes a sugar-free option or whatever free option <coughs> are for people that maybe they don't want it. Or maybe they can't have it. Exactly. Or maybe Demi can't have it. There's plenty of people who can't have that. A high amount of sugar. Yeah, people. I only eat frozen yogurt like 2.6 times a year. Otherwise, Sucks. I relapse. Yeah, otherwise, I relapse and enter withdrawals after a period of abstinence. And then I just shit the bed. No shit the bed. And it's every time. You always shit the bed. It's always shit in the bed. I don't know. At least shit the futon. Well, she wanted them to like actually put on the packaging like this is for diabetics or people with like people with celiac. And all the fucking diseases. We're gonna get clapped back by Demi Lovato. Watch. I don't even have a Twitter. I don't give a shit. I don't even have a Twitter, so what are they gonna clap I have a Twitter that I never use. Go on my Facebook and raid me and give me death threats. You better take that sugar-free shit off your menu. I don't have a menu. (laughs) 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 What menu do you want me to take it off of? The menu of... Are you talking about in my fridge? I don't have any Stop sugar-free shit. buying sugar. sugar-free stuff. You understand what you're supporting. I mean, are you talking about, like, steak? I mean, steak doesn't really have sugar in it. You want me to throw that out? It's good protein. Like steak. Only pastries and sugar. No, so no chicken, no ground meat. Oh, good. So you're going to tell me you're going to take all your sugar-free options away, which means no chicken strips? means you can't oh, get no, that, that chicken strips. You can't like, tell me Demi Lovato isn't a chicken strip. Oh, everyone's a fucking aficionado. aficionado. Fucking everyone's a chicken strip aficionado. You can't tell me she doesn't have the look of a fucking chicken strip aficionado. I love them dang chicken strips. Everybody but... loves chicken strips. How can you not? Tell me Demi Lovato that sugar-free chicken strips are not okay. You gotta love them chicken strips. Unless you're vegan. You fucking bitch. I bet you go to a fucking slaughterhouse and being like... I can't believe there's fucking meat here. Speaking of slaughterhouses, God, those yeah. are br- brutal. <laughs> fucking yeah. shit. Slaughterhouses aren't something to fuck with. Those things are. Oh, yeah. God. Some horrible videos I was watching the other night. Ooh. Well, first, first I was watching some live feeding videos for reptiles and frogs and oh, shit. Oh, God. No, no wonder why I went down the rabbit hole. Those yet. are just mice and, like, you know, normal, you know, animals you feed. I'm trying to learn how to live feed my reptiles, you know? So Anyways. You stumble upon some bad videos from time to time. Yeah, you get down. Oh my god. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. Sounds sounds like fun. Yeah, we'll, we'll get into that you, very we'll, soon. Oh god. Very soon. Kermit, please turn Kermit, away. Close your ears, please. You don't have ears. How do you hear us? 
It's not easy being green. No, but the internet, man, it's a, it's a fucked up place. It's where the real personalities come out. It's where you see what life really is. It's true. It feels like real life's a, just a fucking dream, and everything's great. You know, I'm in my own bubble. Mm-hmm. But reality is just fucking grim as shit. And the internet's our gateway to seeing that. Maybe. What's sometimes, that? sometimes I feel like. You know, sometimes I feel like you can just paint everything to look like shit. Of course, that's just for us. That's Pri- privilege, motherfuckers. That don't have to deal with, you know, getting raped. Yeah. By bombed. Um, and, um... Pillaged. And... Sea monkeyed. Sea monkey. I'm sure someone's been sea monkeyed to death. Yeah. That's true. But yeah, anyways... Point I was getting at. Sea monkey death. There's a lot of fucked up shit out there. And uh, I love bacon as much as the next guy, but man, the way they treat those pigs. It's poor piggies. They were fucking boiling them alive, dude. Like just some disturbing shit. I don't even understand why you would have to boil a pig alive to make bacon. Well, my can you kill the pig first? Oh, seriously. That's just inhumane. And, and, like, the reactions these pigs have, like, when they beat the shit out of them, you can tell they're, like, just so abused and shit. So, but, yeah, we don't we don't see how the, the food is made, but people freak out when they see a, a live feeding video of, like, a baby chick being fed to a frog. It's like, ah, scary as hell. You can't do that, man. It's a little chick. She's cute. Yeah, Sweetie but bird. At least that little chick wasn't tortured. Just but your bacon was just fucking burning alive in fucking hot, boiling water. Yeah, screaming. So unless you're a vegan, shut the fuck up about your animal views. I'm gonna eat this fucking bacon because I know what it went through. We, we all who do eat meat, who live omnivorous lives, we we understand that to eat and thrive requires that a life is taken, and it's sad as fuck, but it's reality. Yeah, it's true. It is true. <sighs> Could you imagine? I was just watching this video of. Um, there's one doctor on YouTube and he's, he's watching this video about this 700 pound guy. Do you imagine being fucking 700 pounds? Like this dude was such a big fucking guy that he literally had like a fucking towel that every morning he would have to like, like ex expertly and like meticulously like dry himself. Cause if he didn't dry himself the properly way, he would like chafe really bad and get rash and like. Get infected and shit like that. Yeah. Could you imagine being that fucking big where every morning you had to get up, have a towel, and just dry yourself differently? That's, uh... And he was literally so big that he had a fucking bathtub outside because he was too big for the shower in his house. God damn. So he had a little bath that he had a... Is that my 600 pound life? or Something like that. Yeah, I've, I saw one where it was this guy... Dude, I don't know if I sent you the video of a dude who's with his sister and they're buying pizza. You may have watched it. Maybe. But they buy like 12 boxes of pizza. Oh my god. And then they go into the car and he says, I'm gonna eat a little bit on the way home. They get back in the house and he's holding five boxes of pizza. <laughs> oh my god. I don't think I've seen that video. Holy shit. <laughs> I gotta send it to you. Oh my god! But it's one of the seasons of my season. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I may have got, may, maybe I'm a little off on the numbers. I so ate several boxes of pizza <laughs> on the car trip home. What the fuck? Like, oh my god! I I think I've only eaten like a whole pizza by myself once, and I wanted to die. Oh, the hell? How do you slam like th- two or three of them by yourself on the car ride home? Reality's grim. You don't, Woo! you don't realize it, but take care of your bodies, people. God yeah, damn! Don't eat fucking three boxes of pizza in a car trip. Yeah, and then he says, "I'm gonna get some more." As they when they get home, like, how can you eat like that? And then don't eat yourself to a point where you have to fucking like wipe yourself dry every morning. You have to take a bath outside. Now, <laughs> to be fair, you know some people are you know born naturally big boned. Yeah. So it is nice. Or it is important to learn, you know, body positivity. Of course. But there is a thin line between being positive about the body you have and 
in a not so nice way of saying it, actively killing yourself. Because I hate to tell you people, when you're at a certain size, morbidly obese, it's not good for you. The human body's not made to hold that much weight. No. Just ask your joints. Obviously, that's you know it's hard, easier said than done to lose weight. I know, I know that for sure. It's such a lifelong commitment. Yeah, I mean, the reality of it is that you need to put in at least 30 minutes a day. I mean, like four days a week. Three to six days a week, ideally. Yeah, but. just... Maybe just stick to a pizza a day. And, you know... You know, just do, like you said, a nice half an hour workout. Break a good amount of sweat. And... The cool thing is... Especially with YouTube, there's so many workout videos you can get. There's literally like, t- I've seen some, I've done like some 10 minute workouts. That yeah. will, whoo, they will fuck you up if you find the right one. <laughs> Cause you know, you do like whatever your reps you need in a certain amount of time. Get like a five second rest and yeah. then rush into the next one. And then maybe next you get a 10 second rest and go. Now I'm not saying do that shit. That's probably a little extreme to start off with. Every time I've done something, something extreme, extreme like that, that I've quit. quit. Like, couple days after it's hard especially the first couple days but whenever I pace it myself a- that's when I have my longest streaks yeah and I shit the bed less oh that's not really into the gym <laughs> unless you're squatting a lot I guess that's just, just, uh, you, it's just get, you get it all out on the squat rack by the time you get home yeah don't have to shit the bed anymore yeah I don't <laughs> just gotta shit myself on the squat rack, <laughs> save my bed, a couple of washes, so I don't have to keep flipping it. Good. Squatting and deadlifting, those are the, those will change your life. Did I tell you? Let's do that. Okay, I won't say who. That would be cool. Did I tell you that one of our workers at work shut themselves on the job? What? I did not. Okay, so here's the story. Mm-hmm. I won't say who, but one of the workers, um. You will later. Um. They are, yeah, a little later. <laughs> but they're a bigger, bigger gentleman. I guess he was like on some medication, which is commonly how this happens. You know, you take uh, new meds. Yeah. And, you know, it kind of fucked with you. So I guess he was picking up a box <laughs> mid lift, shits himself. Oh, damn. And then he told, um, and then he told one of the cooks. Uh, you remember Juan. Yeah. He told him, he's like, uh, I gotta go. <laughs> and then he just left. Because he had a pants full of poopy. And then, did he tell Juan that he pooped himself? I think or he did. He just said, I gotta go, that's it. I think, I think he did, because, you know, words. Because words spread, spread, right? Yeah, words spread like wild. Why would you tell Juan? <laughs> what the fuck? I don't know, because he had, he had to tell somebody. He tell Gossip Girl? He had to tell someone... Everyone's gossip. Everyone's gossip. Like, gossip you you yeah. can't tell anybody. You no, tell yeah. one person, everyone fucking knows. It's easy to know who you can trust. You can, but yeah. I mean, there's. I will say, you know, if you don't mind the word going around, you can turn tell pretty much anybody. But you know, yeah. I will say in the kitchen there are a couple people that you can say I can tell this them, this and it'll be fine. Yeah. But not telling them. No, I'm not telling her if she knows. Um, <laughs> this story will be around the kitchen before I get done with the story. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. Ooh. This is some Tokyo on. Drift. <laughs> yeah, that's Tokyo Drift. Fucking, what was that big old song that came out of Tokyo Drift? Because there was some... Oh, I know what you're talking about. There's that big... Oh, that... Oh, that's the other one. That's... Okay, there's another song that came out big, too. From that, hey, 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 something like that. Yeah. Da da Tokyo, da 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 I'm not gonna pretend to know what the fuck they're saying. I don't know the fucking lyrics. I just know Tokyo. I know the rhythm. And then the other song. It's like the no clue. It's like the intro of the movie. I only remember the very beginning where like some kids like getting spray painted on the belly. And I'm like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is like this is a weird movie. This is a very weird movie. This is some kids bully the kid by spray painting his tummy. <laughs> what, kind, what the fuck's wrong with kids? Everything. 
Everything's wrong with kids. Why can't you kids act right? Kids, kids smell. That is true too. Fucking kids smell. Yeah. I have a kid one day and then he'll probably, probably smell too. too. Yeah. He'll reek of me. Or she will reek of me. Hopefully she. Probably he. But, you know, whatever I get is what I get. Yeah. You can't have a preference for that stuff. No. I mean, as far as I can see, you know, there's, there's pros and cons for both. So. Oh, there's plenty of pros and cons for both. But at the end of the day, you know, you're having a child. Yep. That's it. Deal with it. Not a beard lizard. A child. And especially don't be disappointed. Like, if you have expectations, that's already kind of shitty. Yeah, it is. But especially for the child. If you're disappointed at birth, that then... <laughs> yeah, that's, like, so depressing. That is so depressing. I mean, I understand postpartum depression is a legitimate thing, so I'm not going to say anything about that. But yeah, that's a different kind of... You're, like, the dad, and you're, like, oh, fuck, I wanted a son. That's, like... Yeah. <laughs> so terrible. <laughs> You have no I mean, hormonal excuse. I mean, I know that's like a lot of guys' dreams, like have the son and you know share him with all the shit you're into. But it's like, how could you be really that devastated for having a daughter? Yeah. Like honestly, I don't. I can. I can. You know, it's kind of like being excited to get a brother, but then you get a sister. It's like, can you really be that depressed that you're getting a sister, not a brother? Some people can. Yeah, I don't understand it. Yeah. <laughs> That's just how different people's brains work. It's crazy, man. It is crazy. Well, I think my brain's shutting down. I think um, we're about good? Yeah, I gotta go check out my, my beardies. Make sure they're... I can't stop thinking about them. I gotta stop thinking about them. Oh, that's the wrong thing. I, I didn't yeah. mean to click that. Just, we went for a good, good while. Huh? We did. We had a good run. With no topic at hand. Completely winging it. But that all being said, oh, I think we're done. It's getting hot in this room. And it's bedtime. Sir, always a pleasure. Always, always. Then. To be on MCJ Notorious Talks. First, yes. In the Quay Lou Studio. In the Quay Lou Studio. Yeah, it's Quay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. We'll s- we'll s- oh god, we'll talk about him later. <laughs> we didn't even get into that, that's crazy. Yeah, that'll be next time's topic. I'll be back. Yeah, we'll be back. Peace. Peace.